I haven't gone now for maybe two hours. I need a poop and there's nowhere to go. I might hold it in or sit on the edge and let it all out for the sharks to eat. Your hearties, Captain Falcor here on your number one stop for Sea of Thieves new speculation and general rambling. Hey peeps, Falcor here. So firstly, I just want to say happily that I won the Forsaken Challenge with my video entry, The Forsaken Voyage. A big thank you to all of you who are involved in making this. It is easily the most time I have ever spent on the project. It took nearly two weeks to complete, so as you can imagine, I'm incredibly happy with this outcome. Thank you all very much indeed. Moving on. So there has been a lot of news surrounding the Sea of Thieves these past few days, a lot of things confirmed and a lot of excitement for the future. But although we know the name of the next expansion, and that is going to be available at the end of November, we only know a few things about it so far. Fog that can swarm in on your ship and crew at any time, making it hard to navigate with limited visibility. Ship customization, the ability to change the look of your capstan, helm, and cannons. Athena's Voyage Commendations, which grant access to both bonus XP and maybe even new titles. But that is all we know so far, so let's speculate and run through some things that I think will be making their way to this expansion. If, like me, you watch the live streams, you would know there is a proverbial trove of knowledge that comes from the devs when they are asked questions from the community. It seems that this update is going to be visually limited, but feature packed. This update is going to tie up loose ends, make the world we already have feel more dynamic and rich with encounters and loot to be found. Alongside the ship customization, I'm hopeful that we'll finally be able to make use of our ship's nameplates, and they'll finally give us the ability to name our ships. A nice feature that could come with this would be to have it so when you spot a ship, when close enough to it or looking at it through a spyglass, a frame and musical interlude is played with the player's ship name being displayed. In one of the live streams, Mike Chapman leaked that the Kraken and the Megalodon are in the process of being tweaked to add new encounters and also drop loot in the future. And with the title being shrouded spoils, I think this might be a strong possibility. Maybe even skeleton ships will be more terrifying too. In Forsaken Shores, we saw an update to the Merchant Alliance mission types in the form of cargo runs. Maybe in Shrouded Spoils, we'll see a similar update to one of the other factions. For example, the Order of Souls could offer missions to take down skeleton ships, or the Gold Hoarders could ask you to steal loot from a fort, which would spawn new types of loot for anyone on that voyage. Speaking of forts, it has been said for some time now that eventually the Forsaken Shores will get a fort. We could perhaps see a new fort in a Devil's Roar with the added danger of erupting volcanoes. Or we we could perhaps see an update to the forts that we already have. There are numerous forts in all of the regions that have never been used. Some of them look like they could be awesome encounters if done right. Also, the fog itself could bring with it entirely new encounters too. It has been teased for ages now that there is a large crab out there somewhere waiting to eat us. Maybe in this expansion will finally be on its menu. What do you think will make its way to this content update? Leave your comments down in the comment section below. As always, if you like the video, please go ahead and hit that like button. And if you really, really like the video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And hell, click that bell so you're always informed of Sea of Thieves news, updates, and other general guff that I might upload. Until next time, everybody, happy sailing, bye bye.